hey, check out new Microbit game app. This time you can give your students a lesson about design thinking and coding by building game controllers and playing arcade games. I have the Blockout app opened here. It's available online in the browser. Uh, you can find the URL to it in the description of this video. And I have a microbit board that is already prepared to connect with the app. And to do this lesson, it's best to work on some kind of a laptop or a desktop device that has Bluetooth capabilities. And to connect with the board via Bluetooth, I simply click the robot head icon in the upper right corner here. And then the dialog window appears and my microbit board is available here on the list. I can click pair. And if everything is okay, then the robot head icon gets this outline around it. And now you see that the paddle is controlled by the position of the microbit board. Whenever I rotate the board, it controls the position of the paddle and I can try to bounce back the ball and destroy these blocks at the top of the screen. It's a simple, a straightforward arcade style game. But the goal of our lesson, of our microbit lesson, is not to play this game, because this is funny for like two minutes. Our goal is to design a controller for this game, because the app simply expects to receive the position of the paddle as a number from 0 to 100. And we send this number from the microbit board. But the way that we generate this number on the microbit board is only up to us. We design how it controls the position of the paddle. Right now, the position of the paddle is connected to the position of the microbit board, but I could change it to control it with the buttons on the microbit or the compass or connect some items to these digital pins at the bottom. Uh, it's only up to you how you will create your game controller and this lesson is a nice simple exercise of a design thinking process where we uh, try to generate an idea of a game controller then we try to prototype it with uh, code and the microbit board and uh, some additional resources if needed and then we test it by playing the game and see if it's fun and engaging. And then again with the outcomes of the test we can get back to the designing process and iterate on it to make it better. So, how do we prepare the microbit for a game controller? We work in the Make Code app. I create a new project, block out. And first thing I have to do is to add the extension for the Bluetooth communication. So, I click extensions and search for Bluetooth. And the second very important thing is to check the project settings. I click this gear icon in the upper right corner and here are project settings. And here the project settings have to be set at no pairing required. Otherwise the app won't detect your board. So we go back to the code and I can start create the code for my app. So we will communicate with the app via Bluetooth and uh, Microbit has Bluetooth 4.0, which means that it has this so-called services available for different capabilities. And the one we will use right now is available at the more section and it is UART service. It's a serial port service, which we have to activate at the beginning of our program. So on start, activate Bluetooth UART service. Then it's always nice to have some uh, visual confirmation that we are connected. So I take the on Bluetooth connected block and display some uh, smiley face on the micro bit when connected. And it's also nice to have a confirmation whenever we got disconnected. So on Bluetooth disconnected, we will also display an image, for example, an X. Okay. And that is all for, we need for the setup of our code. And the rest is up to us. For example, right now I would like to change the setup of my board that so I will control the paddle with the buttons, with A and B button. On A button press, the paddle moves left. On B button press, the paddle moves right. So I simply use the input on button pressed block. And then I will need to create a variable. Let's call it position. And on button A pressed, change position to decrease it. So change position by minus 10. 
and then simply send this position to the app. And we will do this by using the block Bluetooth, more Bluetooth UART right number. With this block, we send the number to the micro bit and the number we want to send is the value of the variable position. So variables position on button A pressed, change position by minus 10 and send it as a number via Bluetooth. That way it will be received by the blockout app. So this set of blocks move the paddle left and if I will duplicate it and change it to B, on button B press, I want the paddle to move right. So change position by plus 10 and send it via Bluetooth to the app. So this is the code we need. And now I simply upload it to the board. And when the code is uploaded, I can simply get back to the Blockout app. And in the app, I simply click the robot head icon again. I connect with my board. And you see that now I can control the puddle with the buttons. In fact, it's not that easy right now. So maybe I should change something. Maybe I should change the, the speed of the movement. We can control the game in many different ways. And the most funny part is to work on these different ideas. How to create a game controller.